Today, we're going to talk about AI for translation, and we're going to use a workflow to translate a piece of text into multiple different languages at the same time. Now, if you've ever been a part of a content team that serves a global audience, you know how challenging it can be to create content that resonates with each of your segments in their native language. That's because once you have a piece of content written, usually in English, and then translated into other languages, it can be very expensive and time consuming when working with translators. So what we have here is a workflow. Now a workflow is different than a co-pilot in the sense that you can do processes rather than one-off tasks. So if you were trying to translate this piece of text, for instance, this is a product description with ChatGPT or another co-pilot, you can do that with just this one piece of task and typically in one language at a time, or every time you want a new language, you have to reprompt it and ask it again and again. What we've done is taken this workflow, I'll move my face here, and I'll show you how we built it. Very simple instructions written here in the text box, given a piece of content in plain text or markdown, translate the text while keeping the original structure. You need to translate this to Spanish, German, French, Quebec, French, Portuguese, Chinese, and I later added Latin just for the heck of it. So what we did here was took this, I've got a dog named Zoomer, I was looking around at products and I saw this product description and let's say that I were in charge of having this product description on Amazon in many different languages. What I can do now is simply copy and paste that over, run the workflow, and you'll see that it comes out translated to Spanish. It translates to German, French, Quebecois French. It will translate this to Portuguese, Chinese, and then Latin finally. Now you can change this. It doesn't have to be these languages. In fact, in any of these steps, if you wanted to change quickly, you could change that to Greek. I don't know why I'm going with dead languages. I guess you could do modern Greek. You could do any type of language here in that target language. It's a very simple action. But I wanted to take this a step further because let's say you're like me and you don't want to copy and paste over and over. So what I did was took this a step further. I duplicated this workflow, but I changed the inputs. Now the input, rather than just being a piece of text, it's a URL. So for this case, I use this URL from our website. And the first step is to scrape the web page. And the second step is to extract the text in Markdown and bring that back. Because then I can take this as the input for our translation and have it translated into all of those languages we just discussed. I can have it translated in Spanish and it comes out in Markdown in the same structure you can see. It's the same with German. And it's the same with French. And Quebecois French. So what it's doing is rather than me copying and pasting the actual text in, I am copying and pasting the URL. Now, does this mean you don't need a translator anymore? No, of course not. You want someone who's native in the language to check this before you publish. However, there is a huge cost and time difference between hiring a translator to translate something from scratch and asking them to polish or check something for accuracy, a very big difference. Another benefit is this allows you to standardize your brand voice in each of these languages without having to worry about different translators adding their own spin on your copy. So for example, you could in theory have a translator or a native speaker help you create your brand guidelines to how you want your brand to sound in Spanish. What colloquial phrases are you going to be using and in what regions? You could get as granular as you want, or you could keep this super simple and you could take all of your pages that you have, simply run the URLs through and have it translated into any piece of content that you need. And then with a zap or a small integration with your CMS, you can have this sent back to your website and published. You can load it into Buffer onto your social media channels. The sky really is the limit here. But when we're talking about AI for translation, we're talking about using a workflow so we can do this at scale. So now if we publish this, I can head to my table. I can take a list of our URLs that already exist. I can import them as a CSV in bulk, and then I can have everything run and translated at the same time so that I can then just go plug and play and put the right copy where it needs to go for each segment of my audience. So this is how we envision AI for translation. We envision it being a much more efficient process. So rather than saying, hey, I need nine different translators for this piece of text, you can instead have this written out into each different language and then have a native speaker check or polish it at a much lower cost and a much shorter turnaround time than having someone do it from scratch.